Time for somebody's weekly wisdom. <laughs> Who's on tap for today? Who's in the hot seat? I'll Wally take, or Cindy? I'll take a stab at it today, okay. Dave. All right. So this last week, Cindy and I realized if you're an investor or you're thinking about buying investment property, I'm talking to you today. It's been a while since we've talked to our investors. So yes. Yes. we have a rental that we bought in 1996. <laughs> so we bought that home 28 years ago, Dave. Dave, whatever we paid for that home, we're done depreciating it. Do you know on what the straight books. line depreciation is, Dave? I've heard the phrase. It's a trick question. So you can depreciate the improvements on a lot. Okay, you can't depreciate the land. It's but not going to go away, structure. right? Sure. So let's do a quickie here for our investors because I want you to realize what Cindy and I did. Okay, we bought this home for seventy thousand dollars back in nineteen ninety six, and at that time the county assessor said the lot was worth sixteen thousand dollars. I went back and looked at our tax return. So the seventy thousand dollar purchase price take off the land, which was sixteen thousand. Okay. So we got to depreciate fifty four thousand dollars over twenty seven and a half Divided years. Divided by twenty seven and a half. Straight line depreciation. In other words, okay. every year is going to be level, the same amount of money. Now that's only about two thousand dollars a year, and then you only get a credit based on your tax bracket. That doesn't make sense for us to hold that home depreciate it and not go flip, get out of it and go buy something else. So let me give you an example, Dave. Okay. So that home today's worth 230, 235. Okay. It's better for me and Cindy to go sell that home, which by the way our kids are living in, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> but we're speaking to you now. Do you own rental property and are you listening today? How long have you owned it? How much has been depreciated? You know that your write-offs are for depreciation and or financing, like the interest you pay on the loan. But if there's none of that left, if you own it free and clear and you've depreciated the property, all you're getting the advantage of, you're not writing that home off because it's done. It's just your income flows minus your taxes and insurance. To make an easy example, okay. let's say that home's worth two thirty-five today, and let's say that that I sell it and I go buy another home that's two thirty-five. Now I don't have any depreciation left on the one I've got. Let's say that the county assessor says that lot's worth thirty-five thousand dollars on the new home. On the new home, okay. And I buy it for two thirty-five. Okay. Now I get to go right off two hundred thousand dollars of improvements again. I'm starting over, and I get to depreciate that over twenty-seven and a half years. Now I've got a tax advantage again. So. It's really important to understand and look at your portfolio and see what you're depreciating and what will benefit you. 